Don't think for a moment that Allah will be stuck na'udhu billah because of your lack of or non-interest in the deen of Allah. No chance. If you don't come, Allah will take somebody else to come. If you didn't occupy the space, it's going to be occupied by someone else. I always tell people, you abandon a teaching. Allah brings others who will not abandon the teaching, the teachings in their tens or hundreds or thousands. If you left something that you were supposed to do, let me give you a simple example. Those who've abandoned, may Allah may strengthen all of us. This is just by way of example. Those who've abandoned their hijab, for whatever reason it may be, Allah as a direct result of that one abandonment has brought up, created 10 minimum, 10 others or a hundred others who will don the hijab. You abandon your deen as a direct result of that. Allah brings about another 10 or a hundred or more or less who will take that space. If you are going to turn away, Allah will replace you with others and they won't be like you. Allah will replace. So don't think I abandoned. You were rejected by Allah. Does he need you? Wallahi, he doesn't. Wallahu al-ghani wa antum al-fuqara. These very words of Allah are just preceding the ones I read earlier. <laughs> what is Allah saying? Allah is independent. You are the ones in need, meaning us. We are in need. Allah is not in need. You can pray all your life. I want to end with one beautiful, powerful narration. Where the Prophet ﷺ tells us that, you know what? If Allah had to give from the first human being to the last human being, the billions and the trillions and the quadrillions and the pentillions and the nonillions and the decillions of humans that must have passed on earth right up to the last one after we are gone. If Allah had to give each one of them and every jinn, from the beginning of jinn kind to the end of jinn kind, every single thing that they ever desire and asked for. And Allah had to give them all that which they wanted from the beginning to the end. Allah says it does not displace the kingdom of Allah from the kingdom of Allah, except that which is similar to when a pin or a needle is put into the ocean and taken out. Allahu Akbar. Do you know, there is something called the James Webb Telescope. Please check it out, follow it, download the app and have a peep at what's going on. They launched it some time back. Go into space, go as far as you can, bring back images, send back live images. We want to see what there is. Wallahi, this telescope's been going and going and every time it's going, it's discovering planets huger than ever before, non-stop, thousands, millions, billions trillions it's just not ending like the sand in the desert do you know that it's a fact it's true go check it i was speaking to people and i said you know the power of allah these stars that you see in the skies do you know that the nearest one is actually approximately four and a half light years away you know what that means what is a light year a light year means you go out and you see it you can see the light the light of the star this, that light took four and a half years to get to your eyes, which means what you are seeing is actually an image from four and a half years back. That's the meaning of light years away. And if the nearest one is four and a half light years, it could perhaps not be there. And you're only seeing it as though it's there, but it's not there anymore because four and a half years later, you'll discover, oh, it's not there. Allahu Akbar. That is Allah's creation. It's mind boggling. And who are you messing with? Allah. Allah says, do you know what? The last person to enter Jannah, we will give him 10 times more than this whole world and whatever it has. The last one to enter Jannah. This world is nothing in the eyes of Allah. Don't be deceived. Our lives are short. Let's make a change. Let's effect a change. Let's invest in our families, in our children, in our spouses. Let's go out to to make amends. Let's go out to solve problems and matters. Don't create them. Learn to face your, your, your issues and solve them. 
give and take have a heart that is compassionate who is addressing you if it is your spouse your family members have a softer heart for them because you need to solve the problem you need to resolve if you're not going to resolve issues i promise you you're going to go nowhere how will you build a society when the children are astray because neither father was there no mother was there no one was there to take care of them besides the mobile phone and the television so they living their lives thinking they're movie actors and therefore they do whatever was done there and you and I know we're living in an age where people are doubting whether they are human or fish yes I have seen someone saying I'm a fish they say what do you mean no I identify as a fish and he thinks so and he keeps on saying I'm a fish I say what what world are we living in and then another one tapped me and said be careful you're not allowed to tell him that he has a right to believe he's a fish Allahu Akbar is that where we've gotten the law of the land stipulates in some nations that you can be whatever you identify identify yourself as oh Allah Akbar a guy standing like this I'm a tree where's your fruit brother may Allah grant us ease Wallahi, it's worth laughing at because intelligent people their brains are knocked completely one wonders because they don't have the connection with Allah with their maker that's the reason so if you're not going to invest in your children, they will be raised by what I've just mentioned now. And if that's the case, we're heading for disaster. So much of immorality is being spread through social media. But at the same time, so much of goodness is being spread on social media. I picked up my phone in the teen session earlier and I told them, can I open my TikTok account and show you my FYP? And they said, yes, yes, because you know what? When you see the FYP, you can literally tell how the person's been using the app because of algorithms and so on. And I showed them, I showed them, I flicked about 10, 15 times. And they were surprised. Have you seen anything dirty here? No. You see, it depends how you use social media. You need to use it. I've learned more from TikTok than I've learned from any other platform online. I'm not saying online is the go-to, but I'm saying there's so much things, so many things we can learn. If you want to use it constructively, use it. But there's no one to mentor the children for them. It's anything exciting. We're playing games and next best thing, you know, a lot of immorality comes in. The values are lost. Everything's lost. Then society crumbles. We no longer, it's all about myself. I need to make the money. I don't care about anyone else. I need to do, I don't care about the others. That business of I don't care about others is actually godless. We care. We care about everyone. We care about those we know, those we don't know. You spread that salam and see what happens. You spread the goodness today. Greet each other. Greet each other. I ask you right now to look at the person next to you and say Assalamu Alaikum in their face. And do you know when we pray and we are in Jama'ah, we actually say Assalamu Alaikum. We are greeting. Who are we greeting? The people and the angels. We get to know one another. Sometimes we, we attend the same masjid. We go to the same place. We've never spent a moment to say, how are you? We've never smiled at each other. And smiling is an act of charity. Imagine, no religion has said smiling is a charity besides Islam. Islam is the only faith. It goes as far as teaching you the expression on your face and how it should be. Because when you smile, you know what? Even if my day was so bad, I just have to break into a smile again.